No, I'm going to take some pictures in a bikini. I also have a bikini underneath. Oh. So let's see when we go to the lake if I can. Uh, I think the only problem is that there's no sauna next to the lake. Uh -huh. But at least, let's see. I have a bikini. We jump in the water and out. In and out of the water. Oh, yes. Mm, you look really happy. Are you warm enough? Is the baby warm enough? I am actually warm. I have so many layers. <coughs> okay. I'm like an onion. I like onion. You like onion? Mm -hmm. Not really. Not really? No, you don't look pregnant really. Okay. I think you still look can look like, ah ma'am, you gained some weight. You gained some weight? Okay, okay, now I can see the pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> now I see. It's obvious. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's so nice. I love, I love here, really. Especially when it's snowing. Everything looks like it's, I don't know, it's Father Christmas town. I don't know. It's just nice. Ah, uh, so let's let's go ahead with our spazier gang, and we are going to check Little Venice. Yes, stay tuned. We are going to show you this little Venice here next to <laughs> in our neighborhood. Be careful, baby. You are carrying a babe. Do not slide in the water. You see that the water is partially frozen. It is so peaceful. This is approaching Piazza San Marco. The gondolas are not here yet, but during the summer mm. it's all packed with gondolas. And it's beautiful. It does actually remind me of Venice a little bit. <laughs> really, a little bit. Come on. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, let's go. Punk away. girl. It's very better with me, with the flag yes, sign. good. And of course, for me, as usual, a cup of rooibos tea. You want the color to be nice and golden brown. You wanna um, taste it? Okay. Not even a little piece. It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. So do 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 In the omelette, I can't tell how good it is cooked. If they reach the right temperature. And we have our favorite stuff. We will like it today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we will have with that. We just arrived a few <laughs> seconds before. We found only two of this pastry. This is our favorite from our. From our time. Over time, it's like a bakery name. Just, I don't know, two minutes away from where we live. Five mm -hmm. minutes away. It's basically a pastry filled with a uh, quark. But quark mm -hmm. is that cream cheese, mm -hmm. cream cheese and uh, raspberry homemade jam, I would say. Yeah. And this one, the new one I tried, I want to try today is apple mm -hmm. So it's a pastry filled with. Oh no, it's not apple. It's also Hindu. I look like. Hey, the lady didn't uh, understand. Or understand. Did it? It's good. Better 
from the apple. The apple is way too cinnamony. It's beautiful. What time is it, by the way? <laughs> In case the weekend. Yeah. It's 11. Okay. Two minutes to 11. We're supposed to be going for grocery shopping today, but I don't want to get into the snow cleaning the car and stuff, so I think I'll skip that and be tired for the whole of this coming week. Or maybe we do grocery shopping on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I'll go today, even though, especially if we okay. are going to buy some. I don't know, we just pass by him. I don't know. Stand Centrum. You go a little bit uh, if it's open. It is open, but I will. Mickey Max is open. You know that two of us are living in a, <laughs> in a very different world. Mm -hmm. You are still living in a normal world. I'm living in a lockdown world. Mm -hmm. But for you, everything is still open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you came out to open, you can go to the cafe, sit down and have coffee. Such things don't exist in lockdown. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to the grocery shop today, I think I'm, I'm feeling it up. Why? Mm, I usually prefer to go to the grocery shop a little bit earlier than the other people, mm -hmm. and considering it's already 12. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm not going. Because it's now full. Everybody's there. It freaks me out. When you're supposed to be one meter, 1.5 meter away from the person in front of you, but when around this time, from 12, from 11 to evening time, everybody's in the grocery shop because it's the only shop that is open. You just like this in the cube. I'm wondering, but now, mm -hmm. like, um, if you are, if, uh, for example, I want to get vaccinated against Corona, can I find somebody that can give me the vaccination, or just like um, there are some categories that yeah, are now... you don't fall in the category. Mm -hmm. You are not a doctor, and you are not an old person. Okay, so first, doctors and old person. Yeah. Like. Uh, Doctor, everybody who works in the hospital, I think now they're getting a vaccination. Mm -hmm. And maybe other people like uh, police officers also, like people who really, their job requires them to be in contact with so many people. To these people, I would also add any, every person who sells in a shop. Mm -hmm. Order? Mm -hmm. Or who works in a service station. You can't control who is coming in there, and you don't know where they have been, and they have been everywhere, including post guys. So the market worker. Yeah, post guy, service station. Because the post guy is also is um, is jumping from house to house, mm -hmm. and he's coming also very close to people. You can't throw a package, except DPD. Now DPD now they are not dropping your package like. They just ring the bell and put it outside, yes. which is ridiculous. If you're not at home. Yeah. Anyways. Hmm, these are good. Oh, babe. Have you forgotten? No, but every single day, these are really good. Well, usually, I'm not a big fan of German pastry. Mm -hmm. But Maybe this, not. and most bakeries, they don't have them. No. I think Oma is, and Oma is the only one that <laughs> is only it. making them. And they do not make a lot. I think they make like six or ten yeah. a day. So if you want to get them, you have to wake up early. And today we were <laughs> lucky. We were really lucky. We got there. The only two were like, okay, we're taking them with us. I was talking about uh, celebrating in terms of your certificate. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not about the pillow, it's really about the pillow case here. I got this like from the Norwegian Craft Center in Winter. Very nice, handmade, and I just love them. I love them. I think they go very well with my couch. Unfortunately, I only bought two, so I think I'll send for a couple more for my sister. Yeah, while I'm here, if you remember, 
if you remember a few videos ago uh, when we did the early move out video because we wanted to really focus on uh, getting some exams done and getting his certificate and now he has the certificate he got it to think it was last week he's now a fully qualified certified professional super excited would love to celebrate massive big but yeah we're doing what we can do to just uh, maybe have a special meal at home and that's pretty much it because then we, we can't do much before um, all our celebration involved like short trips and so on but we can't do that now so I'm so proud of him and really excited for for what he has done and I'm curious to see what he's going to do with this new certificate and you're probably wondering like okay why is this a big thing he went to the uni he has a master a degree and all sorts of things yes that is true but like myself I went to the university I got a degree master master PhD but in the end of my PhD that's when I decided I didn't want to really end up working or have a career that I studied for I wanted to start something new and I had to go and do like extra training to be certified to do what I wanted to do and it's the same for Ale he spent some years at the university got his master's in architect and in the end he didn't want to work at all as an architect and he just recently wanted them to get something else started and this is why he was uh, back in training and writing some other external extra exam that are nothing with architect to make sure that he's certified and he can start a career that he's interested in and that's it's just exciting and i think it's um for me it's more exciting than when we got our degrees because then now we kind of a little bit more focused and we know what you want and you're getting something that you you put so much thought in it a lot of work as well he has been studying like crazy to get this done and he wrote the, the exam and came, i think two times so super proud and super excited and again i'm more excited because i think i know that this is what you want to do then it's also the same for me. I was not that excited when I got my degrees from school because I was always like, okay, what do I do with this? I'm not really, no, I don't want to work as a lecturer. So why do I even, or a professor or a classical PhD job or postdoc? Or, so it was not exciting when I got that. So it's a certificate, but it's more exciting because it aligns with his career goals. Today is going to be, oh, it is actually a very quite relaxing Saturday for us here. We spent two hours outside walking and just playing in the snow in the morning, like pretty much the whole morning. And now, I think I'll just lie on the couch and watch TV. Beautiful weekend. It's, there is the positive and the negative side of uh, being in lockdown. If it was not after lockdown and you have you know opportunity to go somewhere you'll be we can go by very fast like mm, going to meet up with friends go for a coffee what 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 go to berlin but now it's like i'm more focused on just enjoying being at home watch you know a movie or a series that i have missed out on during the week and it's also beautiful just um, um Currently enjoying being in my new place as well. Really beautiful. Do you have time to come and join me for a little something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. I was coming to join me maybe in five minutes. He has maybe a 30 minutes before he starts working. He's also studying. He's working this afternoon. I have a weekend off. I have a weekend off. I'm excited and a little bit of cleaning i'll be doing cleaning and 
Yeah, too much cleaning and maybe also call home. I'm going to call my grandmother. It's been a while.